The core functionality of Frame.io is private and secure cloud-based file sharing and review. Privacy is established by roles of team members and collaborators, as well as the ability to set individual projects and files to private and non-private status. If your project is not set to be private, all team members will have immediate access to any files you upload to that project. As a reminder, you can see that in Project Settings. In fact, if you've left it enabled down here, every team member will get an email notification as soon as a file is uploaded. Team members and collaborators that have joined your project are identified by icons over here. A green dot indicates someone who is currently viewing the project. Hovering over them reveals the names. Clicking on any of them allows you to invite individuals outside the company as external collaborators. Just enter an email address like this. If the person already has a Frame.io account, they'll be identified. And click Invite. Or you can invite anyone inside the company who has not already joined. And manage the users. Here the letter icons indicate who is a team member versus a collaborator. You can also see the view history of each individual. Clicking Edit lets you remove people from the project. Here's my email invitation to collaborate on this project. I'll click to join the project, sign in, and the project appears under Shared Projects in my account, and I can see all the files. As a collaborator, besides opening any file in a player window, playing the file, and adding comments and annotations, which we'll cover more later, I can also, back at the project level, right-click any file and publish it to Vimeo or Dropbox, change its status, and if I've been given permission by the team member, share it as a presentation, download the original source file, and even invite other collaborators. As a reminder, if I return to the team member account, those collaborator permissions are located in Project Settings. If I right-click a file here, you can see team members can do a few more things, including sharing both review links and presentations, renaming, making private, and deleting. So team members are usually people within a company who are all working on projects and need to share files and feedback on those files. Collaborators are usually vendors or other temporary project members who need to be able to view projects make comments and annotations on files, and possibly share projects with outside constituents. But what about these outside constituents? These are usually clients who are paying for a video project and need to review and approve before acceptance. Frame.io offers two methods of sharing files with these individuals, review links and presentations. As we've seen, each are accessible via right-clicking a file or multiple selected files, and choosing Share. Or, you can click the Share link, which explains that review links allow users to leave comments, while a presentation is a view-only experience more suitable for an approved video. Let's command-click a couple of files and choose a review link. From here, we can now select all the files, share the two selected files, or change our selection by adding or removing check marks to files. Clicking Share opens a window where you can choose to create a link or send an email. Decide if the recipient is allowed to approve the files, whether they see all the versions in a version stack or just the most recent, whether they can download the files, if they need a passphrase to access the files, and you can have the link expire which is a good idea, especially if you've enabled file downloads. Let's email this link. And here's my email invitation. I'll click it, enter the passphrase, and now, even though I don't have an account with Frame.io, I can review the video file and make comments 
and annotations. This client-side ease of use, in which clients can review and make comments without needing to log in, create an account, or even use a passphrase if you don't require it, makes Frame.io a frictionless method for receiving client feedback. If you just want a client to view files without making comments, then choose a presentation. As opposed to a review link, you can only select a single file or a folder to make a presentation. Let's create a new folder, name it, add some clips, and share a presentation. You have two layout options, blog and reel. Blog shows each clip in a vertical layout like a typical blog. The reel layout uses a single player window with thumbnails of each clip below and is set to autoplay by default, which you can disable here. Both layouts have sharing settings, much like the review link, but you can also customize the accent, background, and text colors to match your company colors. We saw how you can do this in account settings, but you can do it again here when you share the presentation. And if you added a custom icon in your account settings, it shows up here. If I copy the link and open a new browser window, we can see what the client will see. Just as with review links, clients do not need to create or log into an account to view presentations. Once you've sent your clients review links, presentation links, or both, you can view all the links you've distributed by clicking on the Links tab here. You can see the number of views, deactivate them, change their settings, for instance, to enable or disable downloads, or change the passphrase. You can also reshare by clicking here, or copy the URL by clicking here. Once you have a lot of shared links, you can sort them, just like you can with files, right here. Now that you know how to share files, let's dig into the fun stuff, reviewing, commenting, and annotating video.